What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you the latest news directly related to this story. I will do an update uh, on the latest uh, 8K form and I've done it uh, yesterday and I have uh, some information to add to my previous video. On top of that, uh, I will show you again, I will show you how big uh, the problem of illegal activity is. And I will show you that we are awaiting uh, the news uh, from Anna. And Anna is the person who asked uh, Gary Gensler during the latest hearings. And before we dive deep uh, into all of this news, uh, I want to tell you that uh, I need help. And I need help uh, to uh, spread this information to as many people as we can. Because uh, I am the only YouTube person who is uh, making videos on a daily basis. And it is uh, very difficult to find uh, a useful information for the community. And uh, it takes uh, several hours for me to find this information. That is why please share this video with your friends and family. If you can, share this video on uh, stocktweets.com website and uh, on uh, uh, Reddit uh, thread related to MMTLP. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and drop me a like. So, and let's uh, dive deeper into the news itself. On my previous video I've told you about this uh, form that was filed just uh, two days ago and uh, I've told you that uh, uh, despite the issuance of uh, about uh, uh, 56.3 million additional shares of common stock, this action is not a pure delusion of existing shareholders because uh, according to this uh, document that was uh, published on December 27th on the NextBridge official website, uh, let me show you, uh, NextBridge will increase its working interest and net revenue interest in our grand uh, properties by 22.6% and 17% uh, respectively. So, and uh, I've uh, told you about this in my previous vid video, but I didn't uh, mention this. And uh, I didn't point on this uh, paragraph. So, let me quote it for you. The company intends to issue the shares of the company's uh, common stock uh, to Macape under the merger agreement without registration under the Securities Act of 1933 and as amended by reason of an exemption from registration afforded uh, by the provisions of Section 4 and these subsections thereof and Rule 506B promulgated thereunder. As a transaction by an issuer not involving any public offering and based on Maccabi's representations and warrants included in the merger agreement, that such person is an accredited investor as defined under the Securities Act and B. The shares of common stock are being acquired for investment for such person's account and not with the view to release or distribute any part thereof unless otherwise uh, allowed for under the Securities Act uh, or any applicable exemption from registration. As a result uh, of the company's being a reporting company with the SEC, the company believes that McCabe had access to the type of, of uh, information normally provided in a prospectus for a a registered securities offering. No underwriting discounts or commissions were paid in connection with this issuance. So, in other words, uh, this means uh, this additional 56.3 million shares will not uh, be tradable if uh, this uh, ticker symbol will uh, be available on the stock markets again. And this means uh, the short position that uh, we all know is extremely high right now on next bridge hydrocarbons because of a previous extremely high naked short position on MMTLP. This position becomes uh, very weak because uh, the less shares available on market, the more opportunities for short squeeze and the more opportunities uh, to lose uh, the money from the short seller's position. And in my opinion, it is a very good add-on to the entire policy of uh, next bridge hydrocarbons and uh, MMTLP saga. So, let me show you further. Right here you can find on Reddit thread that some people try uh, to sell their own shares. And let me show you that uh, Dunk Stink 99 posted this. Second attempt who wants to buy my uh, 1482 shares for $3 each. I am on Fidelity. If uh, that's your brokerage platform as well, then the transfer process is straightforward. DM me if interested. 
So, and uh, he also added that uh, he needs the liquidity right now. And he added two screenshots that he owns uh, uh, 1,482 shares. And uh, he, let me show you right here, the next uh, screenshot uh, is uh, this one. And here is the explanation how it might be easily transferred from one Fidelity account to another. But if you have another brokerage, uh, you have to pay $100 fee. So, it is quite interesting situation when the shares that are not publicly tradable might be again uh, tradable <laughs> in other way. So, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, we are trying to find uh, any uh, possible ways, ways to... Uh, solve for this problem and uh, definitely this is uh, one of it i don't think that it is uh, the best one but it is what it is so let's continue with other news uh, unfortunately we don't have any updates uh, from richard hoffman uh, he just published this uh, tweet three hours ago and it is quite funny he wrote 99 Gary Gensler, in the morning do the proper thing and resign i can hire you as a law clerk if you if you'd like <laughs> so quite funny but i want to pay attention on this uh, tweet that is uh, more important in my opinion for the community so syntax queen of the metaverse wrote i am hopeful that the house financial services committee will do their job uh, but uh, i will not give uh, them my trust between articles uh, like this James J. Angel and uh, not affording Wes Christian and John Burda a sit down. We will need to see action for MTLP and we didn't get uh, it with the hearing. And it is quite difficult to understand what uh, does she mean, but let me show you this article. And uh, it was published on back in February 2023 20, uh, and it says GOP lawmakers uh, vilify ESG moves at BlackRock uh, Vanguard, but uh, take their money nonetheless. And uh, I want to pay attention only on these key points. Republican lawmakers uh, who railed against uh, walk uh, capitalism in the 2022 midterm elections have taken uh, tens of thousands of dollars in campaign donations from some of uh, the same Wall Street money manager they have attacked uh, for their ESG practices. 10 of uh, the 1929 Republicans uh, on the Financial Services uh, Committee, including Chairman Patrick McHenry, took a combined $140,000 in campaign donations from BlackRock, Vanguard and uh, State Street during the 2022 election cycle. So, I have to say that this article again shows uh, the problem of uh, entire US uh, financial market and it shows uh, that uh, uh, basically we all different, we all different people and we all uh, have different intentions. But uh, some of uh, our intentions might be good and some are not. And uh, definitely uh, we have to find uh, the support from the Congress, we have to find uh, the support from authorities. Only in this case uh, we will be able to win this battle. But right now we can see that uh, some of uh, congressmen also don't want uh, to step into this process. And I showed you this uh, in uh, my previous video. Uh, and uh, I've showed you this uh, letter that is just a simple letter. And uh, it is a fluffy letter that... Uh, uh, shows uh, how unimportant the MMTLP problem for some senators is. And let me show you further. Right here you can see that uh, the problem of naked shorting is a very big problem. And this magazine shows that uh, even in uh, 1988 uh, we had absolutely the same problem of naked shorting and counterfeit shares. So, the problem is really big and we have to solve it. And one of uh, the person who is helping right now, who is helping us uh, to solve this problem is Anna. And let me show you that uh, she is uh, the person who asked uh, Gary Gensler during the latest hearings uh, and who asked uh, him uh, some tricky questions about MMTLP. And let me show you her tweet. She wrote, the sun was shining brightly on the Capitol today. For five full days we have walked uh, the halls in Congress and have gone to every member's office uh, on the House Financial Service Committee and many on the Oversight Committee. Thank you to those uh, that joined me on this journey. You are all just wonderful. My hope uh, is uh, this bright uh, sun is a sign that uh, the light is getting brighter on our situation and counterfeit shares in the US financial markets. Over these past five days we have had many meetings, some more more than once, so they cannot uh, climb ignorance on our situation ever again. MMTLP represents all 50 states, uh, they must help us. 
And let me show you some uh, comments on this tweet. Jim Maria wrote, thank you for all the effort, but please give uh, more insight uh, to what is actually happening at this point. You have others with you who are putting words in your mouth that's what's up uh, with that. And Anna answered, I just got home as I was uh, in Congress all day and took a late uh, flight. So I'm needing a little rest uh, and uh, time to be with my children. I didn't have time for spaces uh, this week uh, as I was very busy in Congress uh, from early morning until close each day. My evenings uh, were spent uh, get uh, organized. Uh, let me show you more. My evenings uh, were spent uh, get organized and following up uh, with correspondence. It's all very positive. Looking forward to sharing my thoughts and experience with the community. We will continue to push in our efforts forward together. And definitely uh, we will uh, see some updates uh, from Anna and definitely these updates uh, might uh, help us in our fight. But for now I ask you share this video with your friends and family, share this video on stock tweets and uh, reddit thread and hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit notification bell. Drop me a line in the comment section if you have any useful information for the community. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm back